Out of Time, Lost on the Titanic. Book 2, Jessica Rinker, illustrated by Bethany Stanclair. Epic Originals. 4, Rat. Ellie, Big, and Max walked as confidently as they could through the colorful corridors of the ship, trying to pretend they belonged there. They passed a family dressed like the other people Ellie had seen, and they saw more crew members. No one questioned why the three kids were there, but they got a lot of funny looks. Ellie even saw one boy, one little boy, moved closer to his parents as they passed, like he was afraid of them. After walking down what felt like the world's longest hallway, Ellie began to smell something delicious, just as she'd hoped she would. I smell ham, she whispered to the boys. And cinnamon apples. You know, Luna would love that. Follow the smell, Max said, raising his fist. Find the dog. They turned the corner, and the delicious sweet and savory odor grew stronger. Ellie figured the sm- set of double doors right ahead of them would lead to a garrity. But instead of seeing Luna waiting outside the doors, like Ellie had hoped, she was so a young girl with a huge bow in her hair. The girl was trying to peek through on one of the win- little round windows. That's not Luna, Big said. Who's Luna? The girl asked, spinning around her dress toilet as she turned to face them. Oh, she looked at the three of them up and down and tried to stop herself from laughing. Luna's our puppy. She's lost somewhere on the, the ship. Ellie explained, suddenly feeling even more out of place in her jeans and sneakers. We were hoping she'd follow the delicious smells coming from the gallery. Ellie introduced herself and the boys to the girl. The girl leaped right. I'm right. I followed the, those smells too. Sometimes the way stuff sneaks me a snack. She g- grinded and gave them a funny look. Where are you f- that tree from? Philip- Philadelphia, P- Pennsylvania. Next answer. What room are you in? A uh, big look at around the person Jay for a hint. But before he had to come up with an answer, Rod said, I'm in second class with my mother and brother. For sake, we're taking him to America to see a good doctor. But my mother's real n- nervous about this ship, so I had to sneak not out to explore. My father will be coming later on another boat. Ellie knew the Titanic had three classes. The more money a passenger had paid for their ticket, the higher up on the ship they got to stay. And the higher up they were, the more likely they were to get off the ship before it sank. But not many people survived the t- sinking the more she thought about it, the more nervous Ali felt. Just as she was starting to think that they should worm what about what was going to happen, the gallery door swung open. A waiter dressed all in white and carrying a large tray full of plates of ham, bread, and basket apples came out, looking surprised to see the four of them standing there. Little lady, I told you no more sneaking up here, she said to Rod. You're going to get both of us in trouble, especially if you start bringing friends. They be here, their first class, Rod said. 
Crossing her arms, the waiter looked at Ellie. Big and Max shook his head and laughed. Double fool, he said. But he handed them each a good sized piece of ham and a slice of bread and quickly went on his way. What? No apple? Max asked. His mouth full of food. Are you brother and sister? Rat asked as she cheered. Max is our friend, said Ellie. Max is my friend. Max put his arm around Max. Rat put her arm around Ellie. Then you're my friend. Pretty sure we can all be friends, guys. Max swallowed his last bite and whipped his hands on his pants. Then he looked at Rod and seemed worried. Well, sort of. Ellie knew that Max was thinking the same thing. She was everyone on when the ship was in danger. And they had no idea. But it was hard to focus on that view. Her stomach growling so loudly. She hadn't realized how hungry she was until she had the warm bread in her mouth. Hence, time traveling must make you hungry, she thought. However, even though it tasted delicious and she wanted to savor every last diet, she knew it would be the perfect bait to catch Luna with the boys and Rod ate all of theirs, but Ellie took it half of hers into her pocket. You can, you can get all the food you want up in first class, Rod said. You don't have to save it. It's a great treat for Luna. We had to find her, or we're never going to get home, Ellie said. She thought they should work weren't right before they went on their way to look for Luna or Rat would never get home either. There's something we should tell you, said Ellie. The Titanic. Wait, Big shouted, making Ellie jump. Don't, why not? Because haven't you ever heard how it's bad to try to change history? It could have ripple effects all through time that we don't even know about. Yeah, but the ripples might be good in the, this case, said Ellie. What on earth are you to all talking about? Rod asked. What ripples? We'll explain later, Big said. Let's go look for Lona. Ellie was angry at her brother for not for not letting her to tell Red was what happened to the Titanic. But she thought Big might be right about the ripple effect still. When they looked at each other, Ellie knew they were all wondering the same thing. Would Red ever, ever making it to America?